Hey guys, Merry Christmas, yeah! It is Christmas morning, at least here for me in New York City, and uh, I just wanted to make this video to wish all of you out there a Merry Christmas, Happy New Year's, Happy Holidays. And I really do hope that for those of you out there who celebrate Christmas, or at least get presents on Christmas, that you got some really awesome stuff. So I wanted to share with you guys today uh, what I got for Christmas. All right, here we go. First of all, um, I got this. This is uh, it's from one of my friends. I never really used this before. Um, this is ultra moisture moisturizing. So it's not just regular moisturizing, it's ultra moisturizing. And it's got, you know, aqua power. So once I figure out how to use this, yeah, wait a minute. Okay, here we go. Once I figure out how to use the, these things, it's gonna, it's gonna be awesome. My skin's gonna, you know, glow or be softer than it already is. How do you pronounce this? Bio, Biotherm Homey? Biotherm Homey? But in all seriousness, as I age, uh, yeah, I should take better care of my skin. So this will come in good use. I can't always rely on my awesome Asian anti-aging skills. Next, oh, here we go. Canada Mug. If you guys know me, I'm kind of obsessed with uh, wanting to live in Vancouver. So, um, <laughs> so one of my friends got me a Canada Mug with the price tag still on the bottom. You cheap. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I love it, can't ever have enough mugs. And yeah, I think my allegiance is swaying towards Canada, but only Vancouver. Got to admit that I just came back from Toronto and they've got some awesome food over there. And if you live in Toronto, I'm actually gonna come back, I think in January at some point and stay for about a week and just do a bunch of food videos over there. So uh, if you have any good food suggestions for me from Toronto, or if you wanna come eat with me, I'm going to be going to places where I'm gonna order a lot of dishes. So I need some help. So just message me on Facebook or Instagram. All right, next, I really like this. Uh, I've been wanting a new shaver for a while, so. Someone got me the bronze shaver. This is really awesome. I mean, this thing comes in its own bathtub. Like, after you're done using it, you literally put this into its own personal sauna and, and like, it self clings or something. I mean, I don't know exactly what's going on in here, but I think it's something magical. And finally, oh, <laughs> this is really cool. Uh, a friend of mine got this for me um, from Canada. And I never had this chocolate before. I got, I gotta say, this is this is some good chocolate. You're supposed to open one of these. See, they're numbered. All right, um, they're numbered. You're supposed to open one of these, I guess, each day for uh, up to a month, maybe. But come on, how do you expect a person to eat just like one of these things? And I can't wait to open uh, flap number 24. See that right there? See how big it is? Yeah, I'm hoping something big is behind there. I'm excited about that one. You know what? I'm gonna open the big one right now. 24, ah, here we go. <gasps> what? Okay, so you see that, you see that egg over there? Yeah, all right, check this out. It's a live version. Yeah, whoa, whoa, whoa. There's something inside, it's rattling. Milk chocolate with milky lining and surprise toy. What? Okay, I see why this is the last one. This got a surprise toy inside. Um, warning, toy not suitable for children under three years, small parts might be swallowed. Okay, yeah, I don't have to worry about that yet. You know what I like about this? It says, uh, nutrition facts, C please contact us by mail. First of all, how many people are writing these guys asking for the nutrition facts within like this little little egg with a toy inside? And wouldn't it be funny if you write to them and, and, and a letter comes back and all it says on a big piece of paper was, None. I love anything with like a little toy inside. No one's too old for a little surprise toys. It's like the spaceship that Superman came to Earth on. Hope I get a good toy. Oh, 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 oh. Hmm. I love this chocolate. Oh. And I can taste the lack of nutritional value. It's still rattling inside. This looks like a capsule of some sort. Maybe this is some kind of Super Saiyan thing. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. What? All right, I'm kind of genuinely excited about this. It's a, it's a, it's a little car that the, the wheels move. It's a little plastic car and it comes with, what is this? That's, that's what it's supposed to look like, I guess, uh, more realistically. And here, here's a little car. I like that, I like little cars. I, I like little miniature things. If you guys didn't notice, I have like a little temple. Have a, have a little gate thing. I have another little tower temple thing, and then I have this uh, 
what looks like, I don't know, a two-story house, a village two-story house. But you know what's more exciting than that car? is this little capsule thing. I mean, I could, I could think of some things to do with this. This could be really fun. You could keep candy in here. You could make this like a portable hot oil vessel. Just put some hot oil in here. You know, just in case you run into some dumplings. So that's all I got for Christmas. And hopefully you guys got some awesome stuff as well. So let me know in the comments if you did get some presents, which one were you most excited about? So again, guys, Merry Christmas. Happy New Year's. Wherever you are, whoever you're with, uh, stay safe. And I hope you're having an awesome holiday season. And finally, I guess I'll do it in this video. Um, I've been alluding to you guys in one of my channels that I know this story uh, it's it's not offensive it's just it's just really gross so you don't want to hear it when you're eating or something it's a story about poop uh, if you want to hear the story keep watching if you're eating something you know pause the video finish eating come back or if you're offended by the mere mention of poop then shut this video off all right so here's the story I heard this um, I think my sophomore year in college and this was told by me by a friend of mine and she told me this story and she swears it's true. So I, I cannot verify whether this story is 100% accurate or not. My friend who told me this story, she said this actually happened to a friend of hers uh, while she was in high school. So the story goes, there was a guy, he was pretty shy. You know, we were all pretty shy in high school and so he liked a girl and we've all been there. We like a girl or we like a guy and we're really nervous around that particular person. Anyway, this shy guy finally worked up enough courage to go up to the girl he liked and asked her out. And she said yes, so he was really excited. Doves are flying, birds are chirping, it's a happy day. Finally, it's date night. And they do the typical thing, a dinner and a movie. Um, when they're at dinner, and he was feeling he was feeling pretty nervous because that's a girl he liked for a long time. And his, his stomach started to churn, started to make some noises. And the stomach noises were making him feel a little uncomfortable. He was afraid that the girl was gonna hear. So he goes to the bathroom to let out some gas, basically to fart. So he farts, but unfortunately, gas was not the only thing that came out, if you know what I mean. He poos himself. Now imagine this, you're in high school, you just asked out the girl you had a crush on for a long time. She says, yes, you're on the date, and you poo your pants. This guy starts freaking out, and for some reason, he thought the best course of action was to basically do nothing and uh, go back and sit down. I mean, I don't know why he didn't just take off his underwear and throw it away, but for some reason, he was so nervous, he wasn't thinking clearly, goes back, sits back down, and tries to finish dinner. This must have been probably the most uncomfortable meal this guy has ever had. Anyway, after dinner, he takes her to the mall where he bought his pants. It was like at the Gap or something. He takes her to the mall to the Gap, and he says he has to pick up a sweater for his mom. But of course, his plan was to buy a new pair of pants, change, and she would never know. So they go to the Gap or whatever store that was, and he gets the sweater because, you know, he told her he was going to buy a sweater, and he stuffs uh, the new pair of pants inside the sweater so she doesn't know he's also buying, like, the exact same pair of pants that he was wearing. He goes to the cash register and he basically like, you know, he's in a rush, so he's telling the cashier to hurry up. The cashier puts everything in a bag, gives it to him, and they had to leave because they were kind of late for the movie. Um, they had to take a train to get to the movie theater, so they're on the train. So he goes to the train's bathroom, takes off his dirty underwear, his pants, and throws everything out the window. He opens his bag, and all there was was a sweater. Okay, if this story is real, this is like the worst day or worst possible scenario that anybody could ever imagine. You can't, you can't imagine even this bad of a scenario. What, what do you do in that situation? So here's what this guy did. Apparently, he puts on the sweater like, you know, like he was putting on the pants. You know, he puts his leg through the sleeves. He gets off at the next train stop and never talks to this girl ever again. I was just thinking, what else he could have done? Uh, could he have just put on the sweater, go back to his date and just, you know, laugh everything off? I don't think he could do that. Yeah, I, I guess in that scenario, that would be the only thing he could do. Anyway, crazy story, again, told to me by this girl who swears, she swears by it. She says this 100% happened, so, uh, you know, judge for yourself. I choose to believe it happened because it's just too hilarious. And, you know, how do you make this stuff up? All right, there you go, guys. My ultimate poop story. Hope it didn't gross too many of you guys out. And I'm really sorry to have mixed Christmas and poo, but hopefully you guys got some laugh out of that one. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. See you later.